What's going on, everybody? This is Shanner123. I have a special guest with me. Special guest? I'm awesome. I'm Thorny. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of hearing us over the mic where we're in two different states, we're right next to each other. So I hope you guys enjoy this. We're going to be talking about Beam.pro. So if you're a live streamer and you're using YouTube, and I know we're on YouTube right now, I'm sorry, you're making a mistake. <laughs> if you're using Twitch, again, you're making a mistake. Hitbox, no, you're wasting your time. Beam in advanced land. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. <laughs> Beam is where you want to be. Uh, you see on the screen now, Beam.pro. Uh, it's very similar to Hitbox and Twitch uh, and YouTube, where you know you have the opportunity to get partnered. Uh, the subscriptions though are what they're a dollar more on Beam. Mm. Yeah, they're five ninety nine instead of four ninety nine. I'm not sure on the split yet, but uh, there are a lot of great streamers on Beam. And the community is there to help you. It's not like Twitch where, you know, in, unless you're streaming with next to no clothes on or, uh, I don't know, into eSports and that kind of thing where you're not going to get noticed. Beam, the community, wants to come and watch you. They want to see you grow. It's a very interactive uh, overall stream. Um, I don't know, Thorny, do you have anything to say about uh, Beam? See, so here, here's how, here's how the, the streaming community is working these days. Everyone loves Twitch because they say it has the bigger audience. The reason Twitch has the bigger audience is because of League of Legends, because of all the competitive play, all that bull crap. And they get sucked into the hype of, oh, there's more people. You don't get those people. What? That's what people don't understand. You're not getting those people. Those people are not coming to see you. They're not trickling down. This is not the 80s. We do not have the trickle-down system on Twitch. <laughs> if you're on Hitbox and you don't speak a foreign language, or you don't want to invest in Rosetta Stone to learn another language, <laughs> you are not going to get people to come watch you. YouTube, love you for you know doing videos and free content, but um, you're asking for a copyright strike. You're asking, it, it, YouTube streaming is the most boring streaming in the world. Yeah, really. Beam You're... is amazing. It literally makes you feel, as you watch a streamer, you are in a video game. Yeah. They have interactive streaming. Right here, we're, we're highlighting Uplay. Go ahead, talk about Uplay for Uplay a bit. Uplay is amazing. I have never seen a feature like this. Uplay tends to focus on... More Game Boy games. I've seen them do uh, Little Big Planet and stuff like that. But I mean, this this is great. You earn sparks as as you watch streams, as well as levels. Well, you play is actually very generous. Most interactive streams cost a lot more sparks than this. But uh, you can spend your sparks to play the actual game. I mean, see, it's it's really really innovative, and you don't have to be bored watching a stream anymore at all. Um, you know, it's. I can't say enough good stuff about it, and not to mention that they also have the best bot in the world. I've invested into donating to this bot, so is a lot of other people. I mean, this bot is where it's at. You are not going to be disappointed with this bot. It goes by the name of Scotty Bot. You guys see it on the screen here. You can set your own custom commands with your own sound bites. Uh, they've just added features where it adds a CRL. Uh, um, Hmm. browser support uh, really it's just a great great system I mean you have alert settings where you can set follower sounds images messages uh, fonts colors uh, same with subscriber alerts uh, you can sell well not not for actual money but you make your own currency and, and, and you can sell and people can earn ranks in your channel uh, if you're a donator to Scotty Bot, you get these neat little features where you can have a command for random Chuck Norris jokes I mean that's just <laughs> You know, uh, you can set auto tweets and the the uh, GUI updates randomly. When uh, shout out to Pocket Pack, the guy that makes this, um, his Twitter will be in the link or be in the description as well as the Scotty Bot website. Um, but it's really easy to use if you're using something like Twitch alerts and that kind of stuff. Now you can go to Scotty Bot and actually do less and get more. So it's definitely something that is worth a try so really I don't have much bad stuff to say about Beam. Um, the, the, the thing about like twitch and all that stuff is that when it comes to a community it's toxic when it comes to all this new type of stuff that a streamer should have 
right then, right now, Beam is where you need to go. Especially with ScottyBot, because the developer of ScottyBot is a streamer on Beam. And yeah. he takes suggestions. Yep, very true. It's Beam, Beam is being built from the ground up. And who doesn't want to get in on something built, being built from the ground up? Yeah, and some, some of the older streamers that may watch this video, you remember Justin TV dot date or Justin dot TV days. This is exactly what that was. I mean, not so much the design of the site or anything, but the fact that you're getting in on the ground floor and you can only go up. I mean, on Twitch, I want you guys to do this now. Go look at your last stream. Tell me the max people you had watching. I bet you we could go to the smallest streamer on Beam, and they have more people watching. Yep. I mean, take this streamer, for example, Basically Toast. She hasn't been on Beam more than two months. She's already up over 200 followers, has 14 people watching her live. I mean, it's same with this guy, Outlaw Apex. Hasn't been on Beam all that long. He's got nine people watching him. You can go on down the list. I mean, everyone... They're even starting to introduce podcasts to Beam right here. Oh, you can't see it, but Geek Talk. Uh, it's you know, it's really great. Also, another thing that they do that I failed to mention and I should have was they have a service called FTL. If you're a pro member, you can use what's called FTL, faster than light, where your stream delay is what, ten milliseconds? Uh, two point five. Yeah, it's okay. Two point five milliseconds. So you're basically getting everything in real time. That's what makes... Oh, that's got Pokemon on it. I shouldn't... Another YouTube flaw. Shouldn't put that on the screen. It's but, not Pokemon. Oh, it's not? No, it's a... It's an emulated game that looks like Pokemon, but it's not because it's under the unlisted games. Okay, cool. So then we'll we'll use Uplay, for example. This little logo here means it's an FTL stream. So it's a 0 0.2 second delay. That doesn't require flash. It's a great, great feature. That's what makes these interactive streams so possible and so great is that it's next to real time. I mean, it's amazing. So when you're, when this interactive thing loads, if, if it decides to, when... Well, they've already seen it, so... It yeah. Matter. So when, when you're playing, you play uh, on Beam, everything is, it's real time. I mean, I can't explain it any better than that. Um, so definitely, I think Beam is where... Most of the average streamers, if not the bigger streamers that are tired of Twitch, Hitbox, all those stupid politics, you guys need to at least give Beam a shot. And if you're, um, you know, wanting a certain name for your live stream, now is the time to come and claim it on Beam. And you can change your name on Beam every yeah. 30 days. Every 30 days. You're tired of being such and such, change it to something else. It's really not that difficult. I mean, if, if you guys would like to see the dashboard of Beam, that's also another good thing for you guys to see. Oh, right, there's my channel. Uh, Settings. Oh. So far, that works too. See, over. Okay. So, it's very easy. You also earn achievements on Beam, which gives it another kind of cool thing. Video game aspect. Yeah. Uh, you know, as well as the sparks, which is kind of like currency. And then the levels, it just... You're really never bored on Beam. Like Thorny said, even when you're watching a stream, you feel as in your, um, you know, in the game. Yeah. You know, it's not like Twitch where you're sitting there and people ignore your comments or they have so many people in there and you're just one of the littler people and they don't really care what you're saying. No. You know, Beam, everyone will respond to everything. I mean, you can test it out and go to some of their top streamers. I bet you the first time you follow... Or, well, you only get one shot to follow, but when when you follow, the first message you type, they're going to respond, and they're going to respond to everyone after that. Especially like Lumberjack Dade. He does a little dance, has hatchets. I mean... Yeah. I mean, you know what? I should have had an account up and open for you guys to... Uh, you know, we go follow Dade. I mean, this guy is, is nuts. But um, you guys really won't regret just checking out Beam. You guys, like 16,000 of you watched my Discord video. You know, if half of you watch that, if a hundred of you watch this, if ten of you watch that, half of you guys at least go check out Beam. You're not going to be wasting your time. But Thorny, do you have anything else to say? As long as you, as long as you're not one of the um, Twitch loyalists, hit, hit, Hitbox loyalists, YouTube loyalists, when it comes to having a new idea and wanting to try new things and get your face out there, because that's what it is. It's all about promotion, promotion of yourself, your skills, everything. 
you need to try out Beam. It's that's just enough said, man. It's you need to try it before before you buy it, kind of thing. You know, it's just like selling a car. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, sorry for the little hiatus. Uh, things have been a little hectic, but I'm back. Uh, you see, I got someone next to me now. So, <laughs> anyways, guys, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.